Emma's best attributes as a hockey player really are her dedication to the sport, her love of the game, her willingness to do anything possible to learn a new skill, master it, and then put it into her uh, gameplay. Uh, a good example of this is her shot, for instance. Uh, I would say last year in indoor, she was a decent player with a quality shot, but not really executing at the level that we would hope that she could do. This year, Emma has worked particularly hard, multiple lessons throughout the last two months, has a rocket of a shot, has really learned how to elevate it, hit the high corners, uh, really be deceptive and quick with the release. Emma's been working very hard to take her game to the next level. I do believe she's ready for Division I hockey. Uh, Size-wise, she's very strong, physical, doesn't back down from any challenges. In indoor, she can battle in the corners, often comes away with the ball. Um, outdoor, she's had some success as well after her high school season. In indoor, she helped us qualify for the NITs. We've already won uh, one tournament that we've played in, come in second and about three others. And again, I'd have to like attribute this to the fact that Emma has really stepped up her game and been a force for us on the court offensively. Emma is a smart field hockey player. She understands positioning very well, whether it's defensively and she needs to put herself in between certain players, fill a certain seam, mark them man-to-man. -man. She certainly understands the schemes that you put in as a coach and executes them well. Offensively, what I like about Emma is that she understands the importance of cutting away from the ball, moving back to it, the importance of being that deceptive player that may not get the ball on the first pass, but may see it two or three passes later. And she reads the game very well. She knows where to be, when to be there, how to execute a certain cut or a certain play.